Oh yeah, I mean, what a day, huh? It's never a dull moment in world's busiest dead-end street. I mean, this has got to be one of the most popular neighborhoods I've ever seen. I mean, they're just flying in this world's busiest dead-end street, up and down, constant. I keep saying this every day because it's true. Uh, but hit the ground running. Uh, Ma's <laughs> Ma wanted to go to <laughs> run to Hapeville because she wanted the mail to get postmarked for today and go out today for the uh, publisher's, I don't know, the 50 million... Uh, dollar clearinghouse thing that she keeps trying for but she means well uh, yeah i had to hold that trash like that she drops it down on the ground from upstairs i don't want freaking rice getting on i don't know if rice is on there moving rice man it's disgusting we got neighbors that don't even uh trash against the trash can against their home their home that they're running into the ground and uh you know uh, we get the rice from it well they it tries to come over here it's bullshit pissing me off Anyways, it, as luck would have it, I'm not going to be able to finish what i got to say on this. A uh, regular mail lady was uh, took the day off, so the uh, fill-in mail lady, who's very nice, her name is Sherry, uh, she was late, she was running behind, and so uh, instead of us going to Hapeville, I got talking to her, and she says, just give it to me. Our mail goes to Hapeville, and everything goes out at once tonight at 7 o'clock. I said, oh, uh, great, great, save me uh, at least an hour round trip. So, uh, yeah, that, that was good. Now rookie time is over, over, over when this guy gets to the gym. It was Laura's Yer Yoga. Laura's Turbo Yoga. Go look it up. Type it in on CommaTube, SensorTube. And it's 11 minutes. And let me tell you something. If you're not in tip-top, tip-top, tip-top condition, it's going to be a humdinger. Because I was 240. And yes, I do high intensity weight training. Yes, I do hard. Uh, I, I do a lot of hard cardio, but it was it kicked. It, it liked to kick my butt at 240. Now 168, piece of cake. Almost. It's still pretty tough. Let's just say it's not for rookies. All right. So you better get your arse moving, get in the gym, and don't be a rookie. Don't be a poor, poor form Norm or a, a no results Nancy or no results Ned. I'm sick of seeing people that don't know how to work out. I'm sick of seeing them in the gym. I saw a father telling, showing his kids how to work out, and he didn't even know how to work out through partial repetition. I hope that's not to be continued. Oh, show. Yeah, this is the tail end of Rookie Hour is over. Because after this, you know where I'm headed. Where are we headed, class? Say it with me. <laughs> Coach, you don't know nothing about abdomens. <laughs> Crunches. All, all, all he knows is toes crunch. <laughs> where am I headed after this, class? Yeah, you guessed it. Headed to the uh, place where you're John Cena. They can't see you. As you're back in any parking spot, they're going to walk behind you. They're going to drive behind you. You know where we're headed. Where they park crooked. Like this slap drunk. Oh, and by the way, time out, time out. Let me time this. No, 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 now, I want to know, why the heck do people, and you got this Latina woman at the, at the, at the other gym, the Y, they put, it on, they put it on max incline and they hold on for dear life. It, to, it totally defeats the purpose. You're supposed to lean into it, which works your lower back, it works your glutes more and, and your thighs more, than hanging on for dear life. It, it, listen, you'll be huffing and puffing on 15 degree if you add a, a decent speed. It'll definitely be a huge workout. But not like that. If you're holding on for dear life, it means you can't handle it. What's wrong with people, man? And this was the Hispanic woman over at the Y. She's, she's holding on at a fast speed. At least this woman was going slower. She's going fast. She can't handle it. And she's stomping and holding on for dear life, sweating bullets like she's going to pass out. It's the most idiotic thing I've ever seen in my life. It's Golly, man. What is wrong with people? It's just common sense, man. You lean into the hill, right? When you run uphill, you lean into it. You don't hold. There's nothing you can hold on to. It's unbelievable, man. Unbelievable what I see. It's just retardedness. And even over there at Crawford Thomas Crossroads, they don't know how to park over there. That's unbelievable too. It's like, what are they, what are they doing with, with, with driver's license if you don't know how to park? Unbelievable, man. They, they miss it like a third of the parking spot. I mean, it's, it's just insane. Those pictures don't even do it justice. You need to get the edge. Technology gonna cooperate. 
That's where I need to be Duff's. I just like the heat, man. They, they, they use the Jersey Death sauce. It's the hottest around. One of the hottest. But we had a horrible flash flood. I wonder if it's going to be shown here. Horrible. I mean, the wind. as soon as I got started, as soon as I got done blowing off the freaking property, what happens? Wind kicks up, and then this. A freaking deluge. Thanks to chemtrailing. God, man, I'm sick of them chemtrailing, man. I'm sick of it. Yeah, that's a lunch. Basically, tree wings, uh, chicken soup. This thing show better. And it's not that carrageenan chicken soup. Uh, uh, with, uh, you know, like, there's chicken meat out there. The even Kroger or Aldi. You gotta read your labels. It contains carrageenan. That was supper, chef salad. Carrageenan's known to cause a C word that rhymes with answer. By the way, it's a better chef salad than Les's, uh, Jay's, uh, better than Coach's, better than Brew Zombies, better than Birds. Thanks, show better. Yeah, better, better. Intermittent fasting, folks.